Hi, my name is Travis Gibson with MGM Targets, and today we're going to go over the installation instructions on our ball and socket uh, MGM switch view lever. Uh, this is the package that it's going to come in when you get it. You're going to have the lever itself. Uh, some models, the screw is already going to be inserted into the lever, and some of them it's going to be in a it'll be in a little Ziploc bag inside the clamshell packaging. Um, if you watch this video and it's not all making sense to you, there's also instructions on the back of it, so you can check those out. And uh, there's also some tips and tricks section on our website, uh, www.mgmswitchview.com. So the first thing you want to do is, if your switch view lever comes with the screw already installed, go ahead and run that all the way down, because sometimes the uh, the anodizing can get inside there and just make it a little bit of a pain to uh, to get the screw going in there. So just run it all the way down and then you can back it all the way out. And we're going to go ahead and completely remove the screw from the lever. Now the next thing on these ball and socket designs, um, what you want to do here is just push that back and forth a couple of times to make sure that it's going to uh, it'll go because the same thing when we machine these things the tolerances are really tight on them so you want to make sure that those things are going to slide together. Uh, the other thing you can do you just put a really, really light drop of oil on the socket side of it. And then go ahead again and push the two pieces back together a couple of times and that really frees things up there and makes them move nice and easy. So after you've done that, after you've run the screw in there and you put a drop of oil on the uh, socket side for the, for the ball to slide into, we can go ahead and install the ring on the, on the glass itself. So what you're gonna wanna do here is go ahead and pull this slightly open to get it to, if you don't mind scratching up your scope, you can just shove it on there. If you don't want to scratch up the scope, what you want to do is open it up and slide it on there nice and gently from the, uh, from the lens, lens end here. Something like that, okay? At that point, we can go ahead and get the ball and socket started on one another. When you get th those, uh, put together, make sure that they're flush. They're even on both sides so it's evenly inserted in there. And then you can go ahead and insert the screw and get it started. Now when you're tightening this up, you just want to tighten it enough to where it's going to turn the magnification ring, okay? So right there, we've still got a little bit of slop in there. So we're gonna snug it up just a little bit more. And when I say a little bit more, that's maybe maybe a quarter to a half of a t rotation on the, on the Allen key. It's not very much. So there, you can see it's holding on there. Might need just one more, a little bit of a snug up. So we're gonna go ahead and give it one more quarter of a turn. And that's on there nice and tight. It's adjusting the magnification and it's not slipping on the, on the ring itself. Now, some of the models that we've got are actually gonna fit a couple of different scope brands. So if you've got a very, very slight gap inside here, even up to maybe um, a 0 0.10 gap inside there, that's fine. As long as the switch view lever is snug down tight on the magnification ring and it's not slipping when you adjust the magnification up and down, you should be in good shape. Just like with all the rest of our products, this is made in the United States of America 100%. If you've got any questions or you need any additional information, you can go to mgmtargets.com or you can go to mgmswitchview.com. The last thing that you could do if you wanted to was call our toll-free number and talk with our customer service guys. That's 888-767-7371. The number again, 888-767-7371. Thanks so much and be safe.